I want to share some encouragement with you again today. I left my house for the first time since the official lockdown um, on my way to the shop. I've been outside my house, but I didn't leave my yard. So while I was driving on my way to the shop, I noticed how all these majestic buildings were standing there, all closed down, the parking lots were empty, there were no movement in or outside the building, and the hustle and the bustle that we are so used to was there no more. I also became aware of the silence. The silence was actually deafening. There were no voices anywhere, and, and no one was buying or selling anything. Even the street walkers are gone on, on, on the corners of the roads, and the beggars by the traffic lights were nowhere to be seen. So as I was driving, my mind starts wandering to the fact how used to we, we got to the fact that there were always sounds around us. Uh, the sound of a car driving past or, or someone honking a horn somewhere or, or, or people talking to each other, the movement in, in the mall or in the shops. And, and how we got so used to the sounds and, and the voices that were all around us. And, and immediately my mind came to the realization that even when there was absolute silence, there's always a sound that is being released from heaven. The world can go quiet, but in heaven there's always a buzz. I started thinking about how we are being flooded by, by voices of doom and, and, and about this virus and how people keep on sending you numerous messages throughout the day about what is happening in and around the world and, and, and honestly it is very difficult not to be influenced by it but there's also another voice also another voice the holy spirit reminded me that is trying to get our attention and trying to get through to us and that is the voice of our lord you see the voice of god can either come to you through the Holy Spirit or it can speak to you through God's Word. Now God's Word, the Living Bible, is, is still the only voice above all else that will speak the truth to you. And it's only the truth that can set us free. In Psalm 29 verse 4 it says that, that His voice is powerful and His voice is majestic. Aren't we supposed to listen to His voice only? Somewhere along the way, God's children lost their ability to hear His voice, or they just stopped listening altogether. And they also allowed their ears to be polluted by the voices of the world. God, on the other, on the other hand, has so much confidence in His children that He said in John 10 verse 27, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Now the question I want to ask to you now is, are we really listening to His voice? Do you really know beyond a shadow of a doubt what God's voice sounds like in your life? I know what His voice sounds like in my life, but do you know what God's voice sounds like in your life? Are we following Him or are we following the world? My brother and sister, what am I saying to you today? God wants your attention. He wants you to hear His voice again. He wants you to only hear what He is saying. And, and maybe you as a believer that is sitting there with so much doubt and, and, and fear because of the voices from the outside that is currently flooding the media and, and the social media and, 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 and planting so much doubt inside your heart. Maybe it is time for you to realize that, that God has given you a freedom of choice. We will hear what the enemy is selling to us through fear and lies. But we are also hearing another voice that, that's speaking to us through His Word and through His Holy Spirit. We choose who we are going to listen to. God specifically wants to say to all of us today through Psalm 46 verse 10, be still and know that I am God. And listen to this because the verse doesn't stop there. 
We tend to quote only the first part of this verse. The verse doesn't stop there. It, it goes, it continues on. It, it, it goes further by saying, I will be exalted among the nations and I will be exalted in the earth. In other words, when the world goes quiet, God will be exalted. He wants us to become quiet so that we can acknowledge who He is. He wants us to acknowledge that, that even though there are real dangers out there and, and there's a real enemy that we are actually facing right now, that God is still greater than anything else. The Lord has forced His people now to surrender their ears to Him again. And the whole world, the whole world literally just came to a standstill. And, and I see on some clips how, how um, people all over the world are lifting up their voices in one accord in prayer. They, they are on their knees in the streets. They are lying on the floor begging for mercy and healing. They are crying out to God, lifting up their hands and worshipping the one, the only one that can cure this virus. In my spirit, I feel that we are on the brink of the greatest revival the world has ever seen. But first, we as the church and as children of God need to learn to listen attentively to the voice of God and allow that voice to change us and allow that voice to make us excited again about His Word, about His presence and allow that voice to make us fall in love with Him again and acknowledge the fact that God is God and only He can save us. Let us pray together. Lord, we are sorry for allowing the influence of all these negative voices of, the world, of this world. When we listen to these voices, Lord, we are, we are, we are acting in a superficial way. We, we are reacting in, in an emotional way and we tend to move doing impulsive things. Help us, Lord, to find your voice again in our lives so that we can become deeply rooted in you to start bearing the right fruit. Lord, you say in your word in Psalm 32, that in verse 8, that you will instruct me in the way I should and, and that you will counsel me with your loving eye on me. I acknowledge you today as my Lord and my Savior, my Deliverer, my Healer, my Provider, my Counselor, my Prince of Peace, but most of all as my Heavenly Father. Blessed is your holy name, Jesus. And I pray, Father, that the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard over our hearts and our minds. This is my prayer for every single person watching this message. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Be blessed.